up my royal flesh it is ij heart the queen of hearts and i'm back with another video in today's video i'm going to be reviewing the morphe x jaclyn hill brush collection we were waiting on this brush collection for years y'all we were hinted and told about this brush collection last year and we just knew it was coming and i have it right here i have all brushes right here have, this is the master collection by the way so if you guys want to see me review these brushes then keep on watching but before we actually get into the video please 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 hit that subscribe button if you not are like if you're not subscribed already please hit that subscribe button you do not want to be the part of the 60 percent of people that watch my videos and you're not subscribed so please hit that subscribe button also hit that bell notification right next to it as well to be notified for my future uploads because y'all do not want to miss out on my future uploads y'all y'all do not trust and believe and at any point in this video if you guys are enjoying yourself if you guys are enjoying me then give this video a big thumbs up and with that being said y'all let's just get into this video I'm back and I oh my god I cannot wait to just try these brushes out oh my god these, I bought the master collection if you cannot tell and like all the brushes are in here so yeah y'all I just cannot wait to just try this and my eyebrows are already done so I'm going to start off with primer first and I'm going to use the cover effects blurring primer um to start off my base so for foundation i surprisingly i am not going to use a sponge i'm going to be using a foundation brush which is the jh03 brush and it looks something like this it's basically the other foundation brush that they have with morphe and I'm, for foundation i'm going to use the maybelline um superstay full coverage foundation i'm going to take that on the back of my hand and just pounce that in. I never, I have not used a brush for my foundation in literally forever. I just remember why I don't like doing foundation with a brush. It just takes too long, like, ugh. I'm done. I'm not using that no more. <laughs> Save me Morphe sponge. I'm also going to give my final thoughts on the brushes at the end of the video. So, Okay guys, so I'm baking in the oven at 350 degrees and the next brush I'm going to be using to set all over my face is the JH01 brush which is this big fluffy powder brush and of course y'all already know what the fuck I'm about to set my face with which my LA Girl Pro Face Powder in the color True Bronze. So I remember watching too much mouse review on these brushes and she said she didn't like this face brush, like this pop, this big powder face brush, because she said like like for her, you know, like um, it was just too big of a face brush. So I'm just like, this brush is perfect for me. Like I got a big ass face, so and I always touch my face to make sure it's matte. If it's not, I just put it everywhere. And I'm going to be using the JH05 brush to actually chisel out more in depth. And one thing, like, I can just give y'all a little sneak peek of what's to come with these. The white handle, I have makeup. Like, when you're doing your makeup, you're going to have makeup on your hands. So, the white handle is a no-go for me. But it's, I mean, it's an easy clean. You can just take a makeup wipe and just wipe it off. But the white handle is a no-go. Okay, and for bronzer, 
I'm going to be using the JHO2 brush, which is a lot of people are saying is basically the M527 brush. Of course, this brush is dirtier because I have this brush for like over a year now, and this is basically like a clean, new, fresh version of this of this one. So I'm taking that and my butter bronzer. Coat this pretty well and just For blush, you guys, I'm going to be using the JH04 brush. And typically, I use a brush more like this to blush, but it's an angle brush, so I might as well just try it out. And I'm just going to be popping some blush on. And I'm going to be taking the JH06 brush and just sweep it off this bake. Okay guys, so let's get started on the face brushes and the eyeshadow palette, of course, that I'm using today. Not face brushes, but let's get on the eye brushes. Of course, I'm about to be using the original Jaclyn Hill palette. The palette that started it all, that started everything up in here so I'm not gonna do anything crazy today so it's always like that I think I'm gonna do a cut crease probably so I'm about to actually actually just do an eye look off camera and I'll be right back to give y'all the final thoughts on these brushes and tell y'all which brushes I use for the eye look as well and I'll see y'all in a in like a second okay guys so i'm back and i just popped on some lashes and did the eye look um a video on these lashes will be up soon as well so for highlighter because my whole base is done but my highlighter i'm going to use the jh09 brush which is a a highlighter brush so and this is my highlighter brush from Morphe, which is the R36 brush. And it's looking like all blown out and diffused. And like, honestly, this is kind of like how it looked when I first got it. And this is how it looks now. So I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to just set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm just going to set the perimeters. And for highlighter, I'm going to take the Ofra highlighter in, what is this, Rodale Drive. So, right there. Oh my God. This is like nice. I like this. I mean, it's a highlighter brush. I like it, but I like it better when it's like this opposed to it being super fluffy and blown out like the R36. Oh my God. I'm Fucking with my audio. I apologize, y'all. But Dale Drive is my shiz neck. Look at that. Hey guys, I'm going to pop on a quick lip real quick and I'm going to come back with the finished look. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be telling you guys the final thoughts on this brush collection. Um, my final thoughts, really. So I just feel like they're just regular brushes like the cons are like you get 24 of them if you buy like mac brushes or um or like sigma brushes or anything like that um like 24 of them i don't think they like you could find some that are the price of these brushes like you get 24 brushes for only 165 dollars and if you use a discount it's like what 160 159 something like that and you get a, like a cool holding case as well. So, you know, I feel like like that way it's pretty justifiable. Like, you know, like you can get it, but that's why I feel like, you know, they're good quality brushes, but they're just like any other re regular Morphe brushes that I own, like eye brushes or anything like that. It wasn't really anything different. You know, it wasn't really anything different really like about these brushes but i can do say like they are pretty pretty high quality like they're maybe a little bit better than my regular morphe brushes that i own um you know 
or or it just might be that they're um that they're brand new maybe that's one reason it could be shoot i don't know and like a con of a, like all we have like one con really is that they're white and they get dirty fast like let me see if y'all can see this um like i don't know if y'all can see like with my feral right here like my handle is like dirty like from makeup on my hands so that's like i would say like the only con about this because i don't like that you know so i feel like you know that's like the um cons about this you know you get a little nice holding case you get the brushes it's pretty nice like you know it's pretty good quality everything is pretty good quality i never have a problem with like morphe brushes except like maybe like their goat hair brushes like white goat hair brushes they shed a little so you know there's nothing really i can actually say bad about morphe brushes bottom line like would i recommend this brush set for you like would i recommend it yes if you need a nice good quality brush set if you do not have brushes like you maybe got cheap brushes from ebay or something and you want to invest in like good good quality brushes i would say buy this because you get a nice holding case you get 24 good brushes like for everything that you need so i would say yes you should definitely pick it up if you want it did i need it personally no i did not need <laughs> this brush set but i just got it just to review for you guys so yeah so yeah you guys this that pretty much concludes and wraps up today's video um i hope you guys liked it um please give this video a big thumbs up before you go and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave and with that being said y'all i will see y'all in my next video bye guys